All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekar Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, peace and mercy to you, brothers, preaching, sword, and truth, and sincerity. On the brother Tazaba, Lord, will with another video to edify. And uh, as you can see, man, this, this is stuff is starting to happen more and more. I did a lesson going into one of these dudes a while back that had the same thing happen to him, and he was a high profile case, right? So this is this is what the new system looks like, right? It's complete control. If you speak against them, right, you buck up. They're just gonna cut you off from the society. And this is that revelation, the thirteenth chapter, and we're gonna get it. But this is what happens in this Edomite system, right? The Lord said it himself, he said, um, This is, uh, Isaiah 59, and I'll start at 14, it says, And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth far off, for truth is fallen in the street, and iniquity cannot, cannot enter, and that's what's happening, right? Anybody that speaks up against their system is Esau, is a liar and the father of it, right? Like the scriptures say. Right? He's a liar and the father of it. So when you speak against this devil's system, it's, it's truth that he has a problem with. It's truth and facts, especially when it comes to these scriptures that he has a problem with. So the truth is falling in the streets. It's not being up, upheld and revered like it's supposed to be. So what does it cause? Iniquity start going about a lack of, a, you know, a lack of righteousness to be pushed forth. Right? It says, verse 15, it says, Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And, and the first steps of departing from evil right, is to speak against it. Remember, the scriptures tell you the fear of the Lord is to hate evil in, in, a, in a wicked way. Right? And that's what's happening. People are starting to label what Esau is doing as the wicked way, and now he's starting to cut their banks off. Right? It says, and Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So the Lord sees this, and it's displeased him that there's no judgment. And first of all, it's, it's, it's coming for the judgment that the, the, the prophets are bringing out, the men of the Lord are bringing out, the elect, the Israelites are bringing out. That's the first and foremost. But when these average everyday people are bringing out things that go against the narrative and the condition in that Esau is bringing up, this is what they're doing, right? It says, warning the Australian bank, uh, negative online, com war warning from Australian bank, negative online comments can lead to account freeze or closure. All right, let's read some into this. It says, National Australia Bank, NAB, has stirred, stirred up controversy after issuing a warning to its customers that their accounts may be closed if they engage in mean-spirited, uh, comments on the internet the updated terms and conditions which were made effective november uh, can be found on the bank's website declared that nab will investigate customers who make profane uh, derogatory or discriminatory remarks online in such cases the bank retains the right to suspend cancel or deny access to customers accounts and how, how is that righteousness how is that righteousness? So you're legally going to steal these people's money. Right? And this is why the Lord said it said. Hey, right, let me get this one. Um, Back here. We didn't have any real precepts prepared for this. Uh, Matthew's uh, 6 and 19, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Right? Laying up your treasures on earth. 
you'll come to situations like this. There's another article I got. Where is it at? It says, um, yeah, here it is. Citibank customer now faces painful 120K loss. A Citibank customer is now facing a painful 120K loss after the bank froze her deposits and threatened to close her account. A woman in Arizona says her life savings of 120K has disappeared from her bank account after transferring her money from the regional California bank called Farmers and Merchants reports that CBS affiliate news station KPHO. Right? She lost everything. And and, and I read earlier in the article that it was looking like there's no getting it back. Right? And that apparently these cases are going up to where the banks are reporting suspicious activity and only 40% of the cases right here. It says, however, according to the Bank Policy Institute, just 4% of S, uh, suspicious account. Um, how does it go? Suspicious activity reports, right? Uh, sub submitted a uh, submitted by banks to law enforcement result in a follow up and a small fraction of of the follow-up results and arrests and convictions. So only 4% of them even result in any type of follow-up. So her, her money is just gone. This is why the scriptures tell you uh, what we're reading in Matthew, right? Let's go back in it. Matthew 6 and 19, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust, rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, Right? But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your heart is for where your treasure is. There will your heart be also. Right. So where the tre where your treasures are, there will your heart be also. And, and the people that put their treasures in this world, when these things get taken away and they put all their effort only into the world, it's going to hurt so much more when Esau starts pulling on the rug. Right. All these gun hole, so-called conservative uh, Christians and everything, they, they put their money into this world. And we're coming down to the time where these devils are about to be the thieves that are going to break through and steal and going to covet everybody's money because the system is rich and poor, free or bond. It's not, you know, middle class in there. It's just rich and poor. That's it. So the system is getting set up to put it forth a system like that. So let me read the rest of this article. It says, um, uh, the updated terms and conditions were made effective from November and can be found on the bank's website, declared NAB, uh, will declare that NAB will investigate customers who, who make profane derogatory and discriminatory remarks online. In such cases, the bank retains the right to suspend, cancel, or deny access to the customer's account, the terms also provide a support number for customers to report concerns about other account holders. Right now, in, this, in the scriptures, it tells you that. Uh, um, let me see. This is a uh, delivery of, yeah, here it is. Matthews 21 and 10. It says, you know, I got to start a little bit up on this. Yeah, 20, Matthews 10 and 21. It says, and the brother shall deliver up the brother, brother to death and the father, the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Right. So Esau is setting up a culture where everybody's going to snitch on each other because they're not going to want to lose what they have in this world. Right. This is this. This is literally so in discord because what they're putting up is a so discord. So imagine when they put out the policy saying, oh, well, you didn't report this person. We see that you've been having all types of contact and you knew their views. We got your text message streams. Right. It says NAP claims that the policy is an, is an effective 
is is an initiative aimed at combating domestic violence and elder bu- abuse. However, the introduction of these measures comes on the heels of a similar incident in the United Kingdom and Canada where individuals face account closures due to their expressed views. So if they're doing it to the everyday people, everyday person, right, expect for the feminine world to come because we're not going to be able to sit here and function out here like that. All right, this is just another form of sitting there turning the people against what truth. It's not like these people are really gun ho for the truth. They're just gun ho for the things that care to them. But at some point, this fight is going to turn directly against the Israelites, against the prophets, against the true believers, because we speak the truth and expose these lies. The scriptures tell you, let me get this uh, no part. Let me find this. This is uh, Matthew or John 14 and 29. It says, and now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass, you might believe hereafter. I will not talk much with you for the prince of this world cometh, cometh and had nothing in me. Right. So there's a portion of people and this is really. The, the, the prince of this world is talking about Esau that has no portion in the Lord, but he has followers that believe in him that have the same portion. They have no part in the heavenly father. All right. So we're coming down to the time where it's going to start showing who's with the Lord, because for you to sit here and preach the truth, for you to stand up for the Lord in these last days, a hey, is it's, it's going to be at the straight, direct threat of death. All right. Having nothing. Having to actually just dwell with the Heavenly Father. And a lot of people aren't going to be willing to do that because they look at the things that they can see more than the things that they can't see, which is with the Lord. All right? But we as being brothers that believe in this thing, we got we to gotta trust and believe in the Heavenly Father, even if the threat of <laughs> being destitute in this world, but we are not destitute of the hope in the Heavenly Father. All right? Let's get some more precepts. This is... um. Daniel, I wanted to go on this. This is Daniel 3. Because when you go through that article, this is just what it sounds like. Because we're coming down to that time now. In the time of Daniel, there was a time where a decree was put forth that you had to bow down and worship. And we're coming back into the same time like that where you have to bow down and worship or you're under the threat of death. Uh, Daniel 3 and 9, it says, They spake and said, said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Uh, thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, passery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And we're coming down to, to the time where this devil is going to set up his image, which is a digital image, which comes with a digital set of rules and regulations, which comes with, with the same portion in the same thread of death, it says, and, who's, and whoso falleth not down and worship that, that he should be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee, for they serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And that's exactly the time we're coming into. Remember, the scriptures tell you there's going to be an insurrection upon those that fear the Heavenly Father. Right? That upon those that fear the Most High. So we, our job is to be the Jews that do not worship the gods of this world. Right? Where these people see a loss of food and everything like that, we see that the Lord, this world isn't the one that supplies the food, it's the Lord that supplies it. Like Nate, like Nate said, we got to work with, we got, hey, he said he doesn't hate Esau because he has to work with him, right? Because the scriptures tell you we go to, to him for the one of all things. Yeah, we got to go to him for a job and shit like that, but it's the Lord that feeds us, man. The scriptures tell you, hey, the Lord feedeth the fowls of heaven and are well, now we better than many, uh, many sparrows, man, you know, roughly paraphrasing. 
Esau don't control shit. It's the Lord. There's nothing that this devil can do that, that usurps the authority that the Lord has over all creations. We just got to trust in the Heavenly Father. But we're coming down to that time, right, where that new image is being set up, which is this digital system. And they're going to cut off anybody who doesn't agree. But have a mindset to know that, hey, the Lord spoke of these things and the Lord also spoke of his right hand making moves, man. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in the foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You got to bow down and worship for this system. This is what they're saying. You're not going to be able to buy or sell. And if they taking all your money and because you said something against their plans, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. So we're obviously coming down to the time where the mark of the beast is about to be set out, which is that RFID microchip. And it's going to come with a digital ID Right. They've been working on these things for a long time. You're going to have a membership into the system. And they, they the, the, the basically the membership cards to the system is uh, they had a thing that was very big for a while. And it's called non fungible tokens. Right. NFTs. Right. Those NFTs are basically a show of a membership. And those chips are going to have your personal NFT linked to whatever country and system you're with. Whatever account they give you and you're not going to be able to buy and sell unless you take what they offer. And right now they're putting all the, 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 the bits and pieces together to show you that this is their shit. But at the end of the day, the Lord is the one that's going to make his 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 power known, man. It's Amos five. Amos five in um, verse 10. It says they hate him that rebuke in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And that's exactly what the time we're going to come down to. Because they're not where, hey, you can have a dude that agrees with everything in this world, like Charleston White, say whatever the fuck he wants. He's not going to get fucking demonetized and, and ripped down. They'll keep him up. But let an Israelite bring out the words of these scriptures calling Esau Edom, telling the, the judgment of the scriptures that the Lord has for Edom, right? They're going to take you down and take your money for that. This is the time we in, man. It says, um, I'm going to end it on this one. Isaiah 32. And seven. It says, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devised it wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. And this is the destruction for the poor. Right, because even the people that sit here got hundred twenty thousand dollars in their savings and a bank account and shit, making all this money, right? They just well off to us, an everyday poor person that just fucking lives paycheck to paycheck. To the elite, them niggas is for uh, they, them niggas is destitute, and that's what they're pushing for the system where it's the destitute versus the well off, the rich, right? It says, even when the needy speak it rightly, right? So if you want to speak rightly in this world, hey, they're gonna they're gonna devise these wicked devices against us. This is the this is the nature of the battle. But the Lord said He was gonna protect us, man. So you fight for the truth unto the death, and, it shall, and the Lord shall fight for you. Shalom.